to make these little dangles, you take an eye pin and you take a bead. And as you can see here, you can work with different sizes of beads and different shapes. But you string the eye pin through the bead, and then I take my chain nose pliers and just hold on to the eye of the eye pin. I then take, and using my fingers, bring this wire up and around the bead. This is the only part that's kind of tricky, is because you want to push the bead up so that it hits those pliers, so that it bends below the bead instead of the wire bending above the bead where the pliers are. So as I've started to push it up there, you can see, and I'm just going to use my fingers and carefully hold it with one hand while I use the other hand to push up and around the bead, like so. Once I get it up so that it's touching that eye of the eye pin, I then take my chain nose pliers again to hold on to that eye pin, and then I just use my fingers to continue wrapping it around the bead. I've tried using pliers to do this wrap, but when the bead's slippery, the wire likes to slip around, so I found that just using my fingers is much more effective. Once I've wrapped it this far using my fingers, I can then take the pliers and another plier and tighten it up a little bit that way. Once it's tight, you trim the end and then you can see that it looks like this. Because these are eye pins at the top, you can still go ahead and open and close the eye pins to attach them to a bracelet just as you would any other wire piece. This technique will take some practice in order to get it to go smoothly around the beads. It might be best to start with a bead like this one that has more of a square shape and more defined lines. It isn't quite as round and slippery as this one. But if you practice, you'll get to the round beads in any other shape as well. Again, here's a finished bracelet with this fun technique with the wire wrapped around the beads. And you can see this design and lots more, as well as lots of other tips and tricks at antelopebeads.com. Thank you.